Hello guys, I am Jardevelius from Genius Games and today I'm gonna show you the first update for our game Nirvana. So as you can see now we have done a little bit and uh, I used some of, of our modular uh, objects to create a, a room so I can show you guys uh, some of the functionalities we already have in place. So as you can see we have our puzzle gun ready right here with me. <laughs> and this uh this gun have have two different uh types right now. The green gun is the one I'm using right now. As you can see the little green light on it and the yellow gun with the yellow yellow light. Uh let me first show you guys the first the first one the green gun. Uh, the green gun uh, works a little bit like the gravity gun in Half-Life 2, but not exactly. Uh, what it what it does is it moves objects, but with a little bit of constraints, I might say. Uh, for example, I can move this cube right here. Uh, I can hold it. Okay, I'm currently holding the object. Uh, when I'm holding the object, that there are two things that can never change the player's position I can't move right now I'm trying to move I can't and the distance between me and the object so even if I start looking around the distance between me and the cube cannot change and also the gravity on the object I'm holding is deactivated I mean it is not falling uh, but it's still colliding with the, the walls and the ceiling and the floor and in this case the distance uh, the distance constraint is overwritten I can I can make an object get close to me by grabbing it and make it collide to a wall for, for example and that's some of the functionalities it will be used in our puzzles uh, there are currently two types of movable objects, the cubes and the planks, like that one on the other side of the room. And that's pretty much it for the green gun. The yellow gun is funny, uh, personally, I enjoy a lot this gun. <laughs> uh, what it does is it creates uh, an anti-gravity sphere. First, uh, this sphere has have two stages of creation. You first shoot it, and then you resize it. You shoot it with the right click, and when it it reaches the distance you want, you lock it with the right click, and then drag to resize it. It there are limitations on the size. Uh, I guess right now it's three meters radius, if I'm not mistaken and I can make also a small one I guess it's half 0 0.5 meters the minimum uh, what this sphere does is it's an anti-gravity sphere everything in contact with this sphere has no gravity attached to it so if I for example put the sphere right here around my cube and I just punch it you see it has no gravity attached to it and if I turn it off it falls. So I create this gap that I currently can't cross at all. I'm not gonna even try it. But uh, if I create a, a yellow sphere right in the middle of it, I can jump right across it with no problem. Because you see, I I was like an astronaut jumping over this thing. So there's a lot of cubes here. I can create this sphere and then I'm gonna punch it and you see those cubes moving like they have no gravity and I turn it off they all fall and that's that's pretty much it for the yellow gun uh, one thing that we are already in discussion and I want to know your opinions about it is right now when you shoot a yellow sphere and if I change to the green gun the sphere disappears which means you can only use the functionality of one gun at a time you can either grab an object or create a sphere so we are already already discussing if 
we should make possible to use both guns at the same time. Uh, if we, it will not make the puzzles too easy. <laughs> like I can create a sphere and then move an object inside it. But uh, I want to know what you guys think about it. Uh, okay, that's pretty much for the gun. Now uh, the environment uh, dangers of this game for now. As this room is not in the game, it's just a room created for this update and right now I have all the the really the really the, all the environment changes that can happen first of all the damaging floor this floor kills me if I if I get got in contact with it I'm not gonna jump there because I I still I still have to work on the respawn system so yeah, this uh, it was risky when I jumped over this uh, th this gap. I could have died easily. Okay, let me take this ramp out of the way uh, because this guy right here is our gravity switch. What it does is it switches switch gravity, like the name suggests. Uh, right now, I can program the axis where the gravity will change, uh, the angle of the gravity change and the time it takes to change. This one is programmed to, s to switch the gravity in this direction right here 360 degrees and during 10 seconds. It will be enough for me to come back to the other side because when the gravity points up I will be crossing through the ceiling. So let's do this. Let me just take this plank out of the way before I <laughs> before an accident happens and I'm gonna change it and I'm starting spinning let's go I'm crossing the gap right now and here I am oh whoa that cube almost assassinate me <laughs> so yeah as you can see I ch I jumped the gap to get the gap because I was running through the ceiling and here is another gravity switch but this one we will spin in this direction in this axis 360 degrees during 10 seconds uh, I will use this time to show you guys one funny uh, interaction between the gravity switches and the yellow gun if I create a sphere for example right here like I said everything inside the sphere is not affected by gravity. So if I change the switch and go inside the sphere, everything around me will feel the gravity change except the player. So if I do this, I'm activating it and I'm running inside the sphere. You see the other side, all the cubes, all the objects getting affected by gravity. You see a lot of things falling down, but I am in the same spot. Let me turn off this sphere. Let me take this cube out of here. All right. Uh, so the last thing I want to show you guys is I have like a primitive door functionality, which is which is marking right now. It's marking the end of our puzzles. Uh, there's a normal door shift, door switch, and a door. If I activate it the switch the door opens and that's all we have done right now the ob objective of the puzzles is generally get to the switch then get to the door uh, some of this I guess the gravity switch the door switch and the door are for now placeholders that we can change or we might we cannot change I we're still discussing this uh, if this is gonna be indeed the the you know the basic idea of the puzzles get to the switch and then get to the door might not be linear might not be easy but should not be easy uh, but that's what we are discussing right now uh, so that's it guys for now for Nirvana this puzzle is not in the game it's just to show you guys some things everything we I want to show you about the game will be done in this room Maybe I will change it a little bit 
as time goes by. Uh, because it's a s single player and there's a story around it, so I don't want to show you guys much about the story itself, just the functionalities and the gameplay. So thanks for watching, and I see you guys in the next time.